G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, I've got young Riley and Wayne Gordon with me today. This afternoon, or this afternoon, this afternoon we're, yeah. we're going to um, use oh, some of these. Here's one that Riley's just presented to us. Well done, that's a great timing, Riley. <laughs> we're going to use some live yellowtail <laughs> and see if we can't catch, well, we're hoping for maybe a Jewfish later on, but that's always on the wish list, the mighty yep. Mulloway. Samson fish, a snapper. Snapper. Who knows, a mackerel might swim along. You never know, we'll, we'll just keep moving under spot lock around all the spots. That's it. And We've got an electric motor there, see if we can find the fish, sit on top of them. We've got heavier gear, lighter gear, drop the live baits down and see what we can come up with. It's all a bit of a lucky dip sometimes, isn't it, live Never bait? know, mate. Never Is this know. one mine or yours? Oh, you can have that oh, I can one. have this one, thanks, mate. <laughs> thanks. So we've got a couple of live bait rigs out at the moment. Riley's got one over there. I've got a bigger rod out with a big bait and we, we couldn't help ourselves. Gordo and I pulled two of the lighter rods out and uh, put a uh, an ounce jig head on there and a big curly tail soft plastic while we're waiting. You do, yeah. I cannot sit there and just watch a rod, it's just not in me to do that. So uh, <laughs> I sat there for a little bit and I went, you know, I'm doing this and then Gordo said, well if you're having a go, I'm doing it as well. Ooh. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, this, yeah, no, this doesn't look like a... He's yeah. not a bad oh. fish at all, mate. It's really cool just to have, I can tell you, a packet of this in your boat and you can just pull these curly tail grubs out at any time, put them away. Have to have, uh, you don't always have to have smelly bait. You love playing with smelly oh, bait, but you don't have own. to have it. Yes, I do. I've got to tell you, it's pretty handy to be able to pluck one of those out. and It's feeling like a tuna. Oh, feeling tuna-ish oh, now. Well, that'll do. Well, it was a snapper and it's turned into a tuna. Yeah. We'll, we'll find out in a sec. I'd say more likely a long tail, would you think that, Guesty? Oh, the way they, yeah, this time the, of year. The sure. way they play up. Looks like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's a long tail. It is a long tail. It is a long tail. I'll, I'll net it for you, mate. And he's not a bad <laughs> si size one for that size tackle. So when we say, yeah, when we say long tail, we're talking northern bluefin tuna, and it's on that, yeah, only that little sort of, what is it, only a two and a half thousand yeah, size mate. spin reel. Two and a half thousand size spin reel, that one, with some um, some 15 pound braids, a really good sport. And that's what long tail tuna are all about, having a bit of fun. and. Getting the sporting side of it sorted. <laughs> He's a nice. He is a nice fish. Yeah, so I can get him by the tail. They love belting things around, don't they, these blokes? Down there. Yeah, Check that out. On the other side of you here. Oh. <laughs> there he is. He's got that soft plastic hanging out the side of his mouth there, so it's done its job. And uh, that's a beautiful fish in anyone's language. And go like a pro. Oh, go. They? they just never give up. Come down here, Rolls. Have a look at that, mate. <laughs> Dad's got one on the board already. All right, slide yeah, that hook awesome out. Awesome fish. Just bleeding around the mouth a little it bit, is, but he'll mate. be fine to release, I reckon. I'll punch that out. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. look out. Look out. All right, let's get him back in, eh? Hey? Off you go, bud. Away he goes. You got him, mate, or what? Yeah, Talk got him. Me. Talk to me. No, I've got him. <laughs> It's been a long a long afternoon, really. It's been a bit slow on the bites, and you've got... Oh, oh a little shark. He's a cool-looking shark. Check him out. Oh, look out! <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little, tiny little whaler. We might try and get it up and show you. It's a pretty cool-looking little whaler. That's got him. <laughs> there he is there. They are so hard to hang on to. Pop that hook out of there. Got there him. we go. There you go, Rolls. He's a cool-looking critter. I would imagine he's... Uh, Pretty active at night time as well, Wayne, so. Yeah. We'll and I'd say there's some bigger ones down there as well. <laughs> We're not gonna go swimming, put it that way. And that's what's been taking our baits. So like you've lost one, Riley lost another one. Yeah, and it's, it's just been one of those afternoons, but we're, we're set for a pretty good day tomorrow, hopefully weather-wise. We're gonna scoot out, there was a bit of a wreck. We can fish out wider yeah, there. We're, we're gonna, gonna wreck down, and head down, down south. south. 
so we can find. All right, I'll get this bloke back in the water. Are you sure you don't want to give him a cuddle? No, I'll be all right, thanks. Okay, off you go, mate. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> We're back on the water this morning, nice and early. And uh, live bait can be hard to catch at times when it's dark. And you've got to be uh, you've got to be on the water early to get to the spot first. But you've got to wait for that sun to come up for them to bite. And little uh, bait jig rig there is doing the job. A couple of yellowtail for me. Not much going on over this side no, of the boat. The, man in, over the there. man in green's doing a great job opening the the door for me straight into the live bait tank. Bit of a quiet afternoon yesterday. Just that yeah, one. Was. My yeah. long tail tuna and a yeah, couple of sharks. sharks. Yeah, but we, we were north and uh, the water was pretty ordinary, really, quite dirty. Water looks terrific here and we're going to go south this time, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed a today. A couple of spots to try and see what we yep. can come up with. Marked a couple of fish on the sander there a minute ago. There could possibly be a mackerel there. And then I actually had a bait bitten on the way up, so it pays to be prepared. We've got a wire rig, a couple of 5 -0 hooks and some 58 pound single strand wire and I've just clipped a, clipped a sinker on there and while we're just drifting around I can't I can't keep still I'm gonna just put this fella out we're in about 35 40 meters of water and that bloke he can just swim around and you never know it can be a fantastic way to kick the day off if that gets eaten by a, by a mackerel or a wahoo or a cobia so we'll sit him out the back let him sink down a little bit Oh, as a bite, boys. Oh, come on, eat it. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, got him on. <laughs> got something on there. You got something on. But I'm sort of half comfortable that I've got it up off the bottom, which is always a nice feeling when you're fishing over rough ground. And because we're fishing nylon or mono, we're in this depth, quite often we go to you know, fire line, polyethylene line. So the fight's different. What you get telegraphed back's different, but that's it's woken up. Yeah, it's swimming around. There, yeah. It's got a it's yeah. got a heartbeat and a head shake. So. <laughs> and that was the smallest live bait in the It was the, just a little one. one. Out. Yeah. yeah, something's going on there. Mate, I think. Oh, it's a gummy, oh, it's shark. A gummy shark. Hello oh. to our Victorian audience because they love these and I've got to tell you they're very very good eating. There he is. Oh, a nice handling son. <laughs> yes. <laughs> look, don't, look point, out. don't point the shark. Nah, they haven't got teeth mate. Let's get your they're, right. Well they're called a gummy they're shark. Very, for, very strong. They're, they're called a gummy shark for a reason aren't they and he's just hooked. So he's taken a, a liking to that uh, live yellowtail. A little yakka, that was just a little yakka, smallest bait. And we'll get that hook out of there. And they're a cool looking fish. I've seen some photos, and I know um, even with our, our, our cracking catch competition that we run on real action, I see some photos, some ripper big gummy sharks that the, that the guys catch, guys and girls, I should say, down around Victoria. And uh, yeah, good sport, very good Brain. eating as well. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we don't get too many of them up in this part of the no, world. No, we don't, do no. It. Yeah, he's a, he's a cool looking yeah. dude, that one. Oh, boys. Mate, you've definitely hooked up something here. <laughs> Who's got who? Oh, I've got something. <laughs> Something's definitely got me there, mate. On the heavy stick, this one. This is the 50 to 80 pound with a 50 pound nylon on it. And that's the one you want to get it on. Oh, hopefully. Bit of a head shake. Big large arbor re reels like this. Certainly make fighting fish with live bait a little bit easier because every turn of the handle, I'm, I'm really pulling some line back on there. It looks like a really nice kingy, actually. Looks like a cracking that kingy. That is a beautiful kingy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Give it to me. I've got to say. Work out. We'll grab him here in a sec. You got that net, oh, mate? Yep. Let's get him in. There's your shot. There's your shot. Yes. <laughs> oh, you yeah. leave me hanging here, big man. Where's Sorry, my high mate. five? <laughs> nice oh. fish. In the big seven metre boat today, it's got these fantastic cup holders and we shan't be taking in the amber beverage just yet. No. We've got some fish to catch, but they're good to put your sinker in as well. Riley, get over here, mate. Riley's been hanging on to his right <laughs> open that, that uh, another king was going to come and grab his. And I've got to tell you, that circle hook, 
has done its job absolutely, I'll just change hands, absolutely perfectly. Look at that. That's where you want that circle hook to awesome be. Coming here, Ross. Excellent fish. Right in the corner of the jaw. Let's grab that rod so it doesn't fall over, boys. So there's the, there's the outfit. That's it. That's what you need to stop fish like you that. You do. All they want to do yep. is smash you into the reef, don't they? Amazing fish, kingies, catch them all around the world. I know of, um, back in the day when I was doing kingfish jigging videos, I used to get all these guys from Egypt to contact me and places where yeah. you wouldn't believe. They call them yellow tails and, and kingies, but they are yeah. just a fantastic fish. And I've got to tell you, that's a really healthy looking specimen, that one. Oh, that's a good one, mate. <laughs> good Let him go, eh? Here you go, buddy. Go, 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 go. Go, I think it's a boy. Oh! Yeah, you've got something on there, mate. <laughs> in, the, in the right holder again. Go, mate. Oh. Getting some line back on him? Yeah, getting him up. Oh, nice. Coming up. That was a nice kingy that I landed not long ago, and now Riley's on something. He's on the big heavy tackle. We've got the 80 pound nylon on there, because you never know if there's a massive big kingfish, oh, right. too, Wayne floating yep. around here. So, yep. Go, mate. Oh, he's coming up. Eight. That's a nice little king. I thought it was going to be a real big one for yeah. a sec, but then they just go hard from the word go. See if we can't lift him up, get that sinker so it doesn't oh. melt the boat. Oh, hold there that, hold that. Well done, son. Well done. Oh. There he is. Come round here. Come round here. They're such a cool fish. Really fast growing fish, too, the mighty yellow tail kingfish. And as we said, they can grow to an enormous size, but yeah. they pull hard at any any size. And I know back in my local estuary system, we get a few smaller ones like this at times on the light tackle. And if you match the tackle, wow, well, they they uh, they are just pound for pound one of the best fighting fish you'll catch yeah. anywhere in the world. What do you reckon? Yeah, awesome fun. And I know in your local river system, you get a few sneaky. Yeah, in there we get a few good ones in there. Yeah, chasing the bait. Off you go, buddy. Well done. <laughs> you don't mind, mind me hanging on to your fish, do you, Riles? No, it's all right. There he goes. That's good, mate. Good start, good start. Keep going, keep going. A bit of a bite there. Wait up. Yep. What? Oh, Come got on. him. Oh, got yes. Him, yeah. So what's that on? That's on, is that on the little yakka you're yeah, feeding, Yeah, little mate? yakka, and I just cast it out and it hit it on the sink. Actually, so it could be anything. Could be anything. <laughs> so we know what we're talking about on this show. It could be, could be anything, so. Electric motor's holding us in position. We've got everything. We're in a spot that looks pretty... Oh, he was woke up. Peering down, what can I see? I think it could be a tuna. Oh, yep. Maybe a tuna, yeah. Looks very tuna-ish. Might be a tuna, you reckon? Yeah. It does look a little bit tuna-ish, possibly. Got him there? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Oh, he did have another line there, but he's just... We'll let I him think... do one more oh. circle. I think, he'd, I think he'd just go around Riley's line there for a sec. But not now. There he is. Oh, and that wasn't oh. my greatest net shot ever. <laughs> but it's gonna work. <laughs> He's in the net, that's the main thing. That was a, shocking. That was a oh. terrible net shot, that one. That wasn't great. All right, mate, do you wanna just drop that out of there? Beautiful long tail tuna. All right, mate, grab that, show everyone what your long tail looks like. You're the long tail king. Oh, I don't mind catching them. They love little live yellowtail, I know that much. So, northern bluefin, long-tailed tuna, great to a max of about 30 kilos. And that's probably an average size one here. Great to catch on stick baits, but they certainly love live bait as well. And they certainly give you a workout. Yeah, you've got to get them back in fairly quick, yep. but haven't you, mate? All right, here Spear we go. Spear back in. Woof! That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. What's going on over here, right, big fella? I've just seen the rod go off. I was just getting a drink of water and having a bit of a bit of a relax for a minute. And you're just like the quiet achiever in the corner. Yeah, I have been a bit quiet today on the fishing, but yeah. fishing can be like that when you're fishing with your mates. You'll find one side of the boat works better than the oh, other. Oh, look at oh. this bestie! <laughs> oh, yes! Is he hooked? He's, He's well hooked. not hooked very oh, good. Let's see if I can't safely lift this bottle straight up and in. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, well, come, he's come out of the deep water, so I don't 
really. Check that out. I don't really like his chances of, no. uh, of swimming off. And that's that's just one of those things with the deep water when you catch them like that. He's, he's pretty well blown. But you know what? They're really good eating fish. I let 99% of my mulloway go. But I think what we'll do is we'll do the right yep. thing and, and uh, bleed him out, get him on the ice. And he'll be he'll be very good to eat. He's just uh, sometimes they come up and you can get them back down in the deep water, but occasionally, like this fella here, he's uh, he's lost he's the battle there a little bit. Yep. So, mate, well done. Look at that mulloway, he's just a cool looking fish. Check out that yellow mouth and those fine gripping teeth. And when you get your bait, sometimes you get a bite off a mulloway, and you go, oh, was it a mulloway? You'll see that, don't you? See those yeah, little, the little tiny pin pricks in your baits. Yeah, the pin marks yep. exactly. But just another fish. When you're live baiting, they're one of the prize prize fish that you get offshore and that's certainly a mulloway. Staying safer on the water has never been easier thanks to the Marine Rescue app and it's free. All you need to do is tell us where you're going and when you'll be back and don't forget to log off. So take a couple of minutes to set up your profile. Be smart, choose the tracking option so Marine Rescue knows where to start searching in an emergency. Logging on with Marine Rescue New South Wales means someone's watching out for you. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. There's a bite. <laughs> the fishing has just turned on. It is, and I right reckon... Smack on that tide change right now. <laughs> yep, and I reckon it's to do with that oh, pressure change a little bit too. Yeah. I don't like low pressure quite often for fishing, but I don't mind that sudden pressure change can be, be really good, and that's what we've got at the moment. I'm not sure what I've got what here. What are you thinking? I think we have you a You might Jew be fish. right. It's a mulloway, Gordo. Oh, oh, it's a Dewey. It's a nice oh. one. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, oh, my... oh, and we're right in the back corner at the same time. There you go, Casey. Check that out. <laughs> nice oh. one, mate. That's a beautiful looking <laughs> fish. And Riles is on back there. And the thing that's, uh, you just, Riley, keep it down in the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just, these young fellas, they want to take oh, over, no. don't they? Just, uh, you right there, mate? Yeah, I'm going good. He's, he's got a bit of a spot there. One thing you'll notice with Mulloway is that big lateral line. You can see those little diamond diamond sort of scale areas there and uh, that lateral line is what they use to hunt bait. In this case, this show is all about using live bait to catch predators like mulloway, like kingfish, you know, long tailed tuna, whatever it is. Yep. But that's that's the secret and that's why they're Ooh. so good at night time. And Rolly's on the slightly lighter tackle at the back there. Now that's a cracking catch. Have you been catching some ripper fish lately? Send in your photo to our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action TV Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen, rod, reel and line combo an awesome JBL marine stereo system along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh, I think he might have done me on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was on the lighter tackle. That was yeah, a big too. fish, mate. Oh, hey, but in the in the meantime, look what I caught. Oh, that's the go. <laughs> All right, I'll get this blade back in the water. Out in the deeper water, you just bump up a, your sinker size and just run a dual hook rig like that, just for your liveys. And like we have got ones down on the bottom, but sometimes it pays off. It pays off to throw this on. Oh, and there we go. Oh, <laughs> there's a bite. What were you waffling on about there, Gordo? Oh, nothing, mate. Oh, you're a bit of waffling there. <laughs> I was. Cruised around in the, in the big girl and had a look at a couple of spots and found areas that looked good. And this place, even though we didn't catch any fish here this morning, it looked really good. And we said, where are we going to be when the bite window happens? And that bite window is that lead up to the tide yep. change, two hours before. I think we've got about half an hour to go to that tide yep. change. And I struggle with the patience. <laughs> oh, oh. I struggle with the patience of fishing sometimes, but you learn as you get a little bit wiser. I'm nearly 30 now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, maybe <laughs> yeah, a little bit yeah. older than that. You learn to just maybe put the patience in sometimes. And, 
put it into practice, I should oh. say. Oh. And, uh, and it pays off. Come on, Riles, this is up to, pressure's back on you now, buddy. Grab that tail. Get him, get him, get him, yes! Oh. <laughs> nice, well, oh. really fell over. <laughs> and look, kingfish are one of those fish that you can, uh, you can handle really, really well. You, you, can, uh, you can put your thumb in their mouth and they don't have super sharp teeth. So the circle hook, oh, if you can, well, I'll take it out here. It's nicely and perfect with the jaw. Perfectly yep. in the corner of the jaw. They are so strong, those circles. And 100 pound fluorocarbon leader, 50 pound nylon, P5, what we call five to eight, 50 to 80 pound rods. So you can really load up. Don't be afraid, screw that drag. Oh, definitely, yep. Go hard or go home. I used to yep. say in my rally days. I like the, the same, sound of that. It's the same fishing. <laughs> so I'll pop that over there. I'll get that out of the way for a moment. And uh, nice yeah, amazing fish. I'd say this, these are resident fish. When you look at kings, the ones that travel seem to have their tails knocked around. They're quite skinny. Yep. This fellow's pretty chunky. So I'd reckon that this reef here is, is, is part of his sort of, you know, his yeah, domain. No, definitely. Yeah. Maybe run into the. It back into the into shallows, the, into come the back headlands and Yeah, another live yellowtail, mate. It's yeah. a bit in the dust. <laughs> Check that out. That's a beautiful kingfish. And I've got to tell you, we've had a great time dropping the live baits down and, uh, and getting stretched. You've been watching Real Action. Riley, Wayne Gordon, Michael Guest. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. All right, bud. Let's get him back in the water. Yeah, oh, another good one. Oh, that's a nice fish, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> if you want more tips, tricks, and behind-the-scenes stories, Check out the Real Action Fishing Podcast.